Hi, welcome to our video on Thales' Theorem. Looks like Thales, but in fact this is pronounced, I think, Thales' Theorem. Now, Thales um, was not the first person to use this theorem. We believe it was uh, realized many years before, but um, this is the first person, a Greek philosopher, to prove this theorem and to write it down. So here, what Thales is saying is that, let's take any circle and then draw a diameter right through the center. So here's my center. If I take a line and draw a, diag uh, a diameter across, right? The diameter hits the circle at two points. Well, Thales said that if you then pick any other point on the circle, anywhere at all, could be here, wherever, down here, I'm going to pick uh, a point right here, and you connect these one two, three points with straight lines, what you're going to get every time is a right triangle, right? And the right angle is right here. So this is what Thales' theorem says, and, and what we're going to do in this video is prove why that makes sense. So why, how come if I take these two points right here and connect it to any other third point, how come I always get a right triangle? Well, if we look at what we have right here, we have a diameter, and here's the halfway point. So this side right here is a radius, and so is this side. So what if I took another line and extended it to this point, just to help us think about what's happening here? What's that going to be? Well, that's a line from the center to the circle. That's another radius. And that's really going to help us, right? Because if these are all radiuses, I don't know what this length is over here, it doesn't matter, but this is, I already have enough to get help here. If this is a radius and so is this, then this triangle, let me just outline this triangle here, this triangle has to be isosceles, because these two sides are equal, and that is the definition of an isosceles triangle, which also means then that if this leg equals this leg, in an isosceles triangle, this angle angle 1, we'll call it, has to also equal this angle right here. And likewise, for almost the exact same reason, if I was to focus on, on this triangle over here, oops, i use the line tool, if I'm focusing on this triangle right here, it's also isosceles. For the same reason, right? We have a radius here and a radius there. And all radiuses of a particular circle will have to equal each other. That's the definition of a radius. Because a circle, all these points out here, right, they're equidistant from the middle. They're all the same distance. So here in this triangle, this leg, this radius equals this leg, or radius. And that means the two angles opposite of those legs also equal each other. So here we have angle 2. Oops, that's a little bit too hard to read. Angle 2, we'll call it, equals this angle over here. So now we're actually, we're done pretty much. Uh, the last step is kind of fun, because here we look at the whole triangle that we have. This whole triangle, use a different color, use a nice bright green. So this triangle right here is made up of those two smaller triangles. And every triangle has to have how many degrees? It has to have 180 degrees. So that means that angle one plus these two angles plus this third angle, which make our big green triangle, have to equal 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is the, is the angle measure in our big green triangle, like every triangle, and that equals the sum of angle 1 plus angle, that's angle 1 plus angle 1 and 2, plus angle 1 plus angle 2, plus our another angle 2. So we have two angle ones plus two angle twos, and in fact I'm realizing right here this is a little confusing, I should use A's and B's, um, but we'll, we'll go with this. So we have two angle ones, so two angle ones, I'll write it like that, angle ones, because otherwise I'm tempted to add them and say it's just two, sorry about that, plus two angle twos, and that equals 180 degrees. Well, what's two angle ones plus two angle twos? Couldn't I just divide everything by two to simplify? And then I would get 90 degrees. 
equals, well, two angle ones divided by two is just angle one. And then, oops, put the angle symbol in there. And then two angle twos divided by two is just one angle two. So that means that angle one plus angle two is 90 degrees. And we're done. Why? Well, because angle one and angle two is right here. And if that's 90 degrees, right, if that's 90 degrees, these two angles combined, then the green triangle must be a right triangle. And you can prove this for any point along, right? We just picked an arbitrary point here. We added the angles up, and simplified, and then divided by 2. And let me just quickly show that if I had letters, right? angle A, angle A, and then angle B and angle B, we could add those up, same argument, 2 Bs plus 2 As would then equal 180, this might be easier to see, divide everything by 2, we get B plus A is 90, and for the same reason, right? Now this is a right angle, and I have a right triangle. So that's Thales' theorem, and it's going to be really helpful to us in geometry.